met on the very first movie that he ever did called Pineapple. It was the very first movie that I ever did as well. I'm, I'll never forget because I met him in the backyard of the set and uh, he came up to me and he had some other guys with him as well. He said, hi, my name's Smack. And I went, oh really? My name's Gary, nice to meet you. And I was thinking, man, eh, interesting character. Then I saw him go inside and work and I was shocked. I thought, uh, this is for a backing movie? Wow, very impressed. He was very cool. He was not over the top by no means. Very quiet, very very calm demeanor, and uh, and that wasn't quite what I ended, had anticipated. So he was fooling me every which way you can, and the artistry in him was just oozing out. I knew that there was a certain sparkle about the guy that I liked. I'm I like to to keep company with with people that are artisans that are definitely tradesmen, craft, craft, very important, no, how would I say it? He's a cool motherfucker. <laughs> I like to surround myself by people like, by, I like to surround myself by people like him. We had become friends after Pineapple. We talked occasionally, saw him at some shows. I had no idea that Dirty Worms were uh, the type of band that they were. I totally love the music. It's a fusion between the, the rap and the rock. And I knew one of the guys in the band, too. So I thought, well, I'm going to check this thing out. Went to see him, and awesome. Loved the music. He had called me up, said he was interested in, in this project, and said, I've got an idea, and I want to run it past you. See if you'd be interested in being this particular character, Rick Digley, the uh, program music director of a radio station. Smack plays Darian has to overcome these obstacles, me being one of them, and that's causing him a lot of problems. And uh, I think it's pretty true to life. I think it's pretty accurate. I thought it was very cool. I said, well, why don't you send me the sides? Let me take a look at it. He went, no, no, uh, can you come downtown in about 45 minutes and shoot this? <laughs> went, uh, sure, why not? I showed up on set and it was Smack and Laura Dora, that's it. And me, three of us. And at that point I thought, well, okay, well, let's give it a shot. He had some brilliant ideas, the way that he shot it. It was shot the same way that all movies are shot, except you don't have all the people in the background. We didn't have to have gaffers, there weren't any people lighting up. It didn't take two and a half hours to set up a shot. It didn't, you know, it was truly guerrilla independent filming. I loved it. He uh, had some brilliant ideas. I added to, added to it a little bit. And it was improv. Very loosely scripted. And that's how we did it. It took, uh, it took about two hours or so and it was finished, which was unusual also. And I got back home. And then later that, the following day in the morning, he called me up and said, come on over, let's take a look at this stuff. We're talking not even 12 hours later. And it was edited. And I was uh, quite... Uh, quite surprised actually. I was not expecting it to be that good after seeing the finished product of it and, and knowing that after we, we shot it from one perspective then we just like the way they shoot independent films, you shoot from one perspective then you go back to one, you shoot it in another per perspective, then another perspective and with, with Smack you do another perspective then another perspective and then before you know it you can see how he's building the story together because you're gonna see it from the total, the total circle, and, and that's how it's done. After I saw it, I thought, wow, unbelievable. Director, editor, writing, music, everything. He's uh, definitely a craftsman. This guy's really good. He's, he's gonna be someone, someone needs to pay, pay attention and make notice of him. The true worm head that listens to to the Dirty Worms, they know and have an understanding that a lot of these uh, words come out in a lot of the lyrics of the music. What people are going to like about this is that it, it puts the total story together with this music and what you vision, what's going on while you're listening to it, it puts the whole picture together. You see the whole thing and you go, hmm, that's what he's trying to tell me. I get it now. I really get it now.